Welcome to the Build Your Empire with the Kingdom Strategist for a time of building and expanding the Kingdom of God within you. We are educating and equipping individuals around the world to build and expand in their dreams, goals, visions, purpose, and destiny through biblical principles and applications. I am your host, Apostle Deron Shay Zorn, your kingdom strategist, here to release strategies and revelations to unlock the kingdom within you. Hello, 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 hello. I want to welcome you back to another amazing episode of the Build Your Empire with the Kingdom Strategies. Yes, your host, Dr. Deronche, is in the house, and, and I am so ready to release these strategies to you on today. Listen. My God. So, y'all already know how we roll up in here, okay? So, listen, before we dig into our episode, you know that we are in our series on building a profitable brand through broadcasting. And so, I'm so excited Um, about our journey and where we are going in this conversation. So if you know an author, entrepreneur, coach, consultant, or influencer who desire to increase their impact, influence, and income, listen, broadcasting is something that they should consider so that they may meet the needs or the desires for their brands. So what I want you to do is go ahead and tag a neighbor, tag a friend, (laughs) share share this broadcast on your social media platforms so that those that you know can get in on this conversation and see these authors, entrepreneurs, coaches, consultants, and and influencers, they need to understand how broadcasting is going to up-level their game, right, and and help them really um, begin to meet those um, goals, right, that they desire um, as they are, have the heart and the mind to help other people grow, right, in whatever area of expertise that they may have. They're going to see how broadcasting removes the walls of limitations when it comes to geographical location, time, people, finances, and availability. So it's a no-brainer when it comes to launching a radio, podcast, or television show. Or it could be a combination of them. Listen, because I'm telling you, it's going to help them extend their reach. Going to help them extend their reach. And so when you extend your reach and you enlarge your territory, it cannot do anything else but help increase your bottom line. Increase your bottom line. And so I'm here helping authors, entrepreneurs, coaches, consultants, and influencers um, in the broadcasting space so that they may get their brand message, their products, their services, or their books in the hands, in the hearts, and in the minds of those who resonate with their brands at a more rapid pace than any other medium, right, right here in broadcasting. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited about um, the conversation that we're going to be having on today. And I know that those that you are 
sharing this information with. They are going to love you and thank you later for it, right? Why? Because it's going to help them in those places where they have been struggling. <laughs> How about that? How about that? Let us go to prayer before we do another thing. Oh, gracious God, I thank you for um, this broadcast. I thank you for every listener. I thank you for those that are here and those that are going to come. I thank you that you have strategically um, leading them to this show so that they can have the awakening that's necessary to move in the Jeremiah 29 11 plan that you call for in their lives like never be. For Father, I place this broadcast into your holy hands so that you may have your way, that you may speak to your people the revelation that's necessary in this hour, Father, so that they may, oh God, obtain the desires of their very heart, that their faith may be activated like never before, as faith without works is dead. We thank you, Lord, that you're going to breathe on us and that you're going to do a thing. Lord, I pray for these businesses, these books these products and these services and these entrepreneurs, these CEOs, these influencers, God, I pray, almighty king, that as they have written the vision and make it plain, as they are running with it, oh God, that they would gain the clarity that's necessary so that they can, oh God, that they can operate in efficiency and effectively, Father, and that from the north, the south, the east, and the west, that those, oh God, that you have strategically placed in the earth for them to serve, that they will be found by them in the name of Jesus, and that their businesses and their books and whatever it is that you're placed in their hand, that it will obtain an expert, and it will grow expeditiously. Almighty King, in, in the name of Jesus, have your way in their lives. Oh, how we give you glory, how we give you praise. And it is in the majestic name of Jesus um, that we've prayed. Amen, amen, and amen. Listen, to God be the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, we thank you guys who have tuned in um, for today. Um, as we are in our um, brand, uh, building a profitable brand through broadcasting series. And so I'm so excited that you are here today at the Build Your Empire with the King Dump Strategist. So let me go ahead and bring us into well, our topic for today. But before I go into our topic, I do want you to do this as well. For those who are not connected with me on your social media platforms, I want you to go ahead and follow me um, on Facebook and Instagram at Kingdom Strategies. Go ahead and go over to our YouTube and subscribe um, as well. And on any of your uh, media platforms, uh, your podcasting platforms as well. Go ahead and subscribe, subscribe to the Kingdom Strategies or the Build Your Empire uh, with the Kingdom Strategies broadcast, right? So that you can stay tuned and lock in and, and, and obtain the messages that we are producing to help you um, build and expand in that in which God has given unto you. In addition, I would love to connect with you on our social media platforms so that we can continue the conversation so that I may can respond to any questions that you may have as well. So I'm loving it. Okay. So again, today we are talking about today. On today, we're talking about where are we going in the build your profitable brand through broadcasting series okay so when it when building a profitable brand you must understand how to leverage tubes how to leverage tools 
so that you can increase your income, your impact, and your influence. And so I'm teaching and showing you in this series on how to leverage it doing broadcasting, whether it's podcasting, radio, or a TV show, or a combination of those that you've decided to use so that you can get to the masses. So when you're building a profitable broadcast, it's important to know where you are leading those who is tuning in to your show. If this critical key is missing, then you're going to miss out on opportunities to turn listeners into lifelong fans that will pay you for your brilliance. It's very important that you understand that you must connect the dots for your audience and lead them to additional opportunities where you can serve them in a much greater capacity, a much greater capacity. You have to lead them. You are the leader because they are coming to hear your voice. One of the amazing things that I love about broadcasting, and especially where we are right now, people search the web, they search podcasting platforms, right? And broadcasting platforms looking for content that could help them solve their problem. So they're looking for content, or they're looking for influence, or they're looking for leaders just like you to lead them to their promised land. And so you be the Joshua for them in the nation, for them in the land, wherever that they may be. You be the Joshua of whatever industry, whatever segment, or for whoever it is that you're called to serve. And lead them through to the promised land with what? Your your products, services, or your books. But what it is that God has given unto you for such a time as this, okay? So listen, you guys, this scripture, I want us to, you know, know we got to be founded or grounded in in the word because it's to build your empire with the king of strategies and so we know we drop in um our solutions right um out of biblical principles or from biblical principles see because god wants you to prosper he says he's giving you the ability um to generate wealth okay and so we want to connect what we do with the word so Here we go. Here we go. So we got Psalms 78 and 72. And this, and this word says with upright heart, he shepherds them and guided them with his skillful hands. This right here is extremely, extremely powerful. And so we're going to talk about it because we're going to talk about why and how this particular text um, resonates or relates to where you're going, right? And how you're helping those that you have been called to lead for such a time as this, right? 
So I want to talk about a few things here. I wanted to talk about a few things. So, and I, I, I want us to really, really um, break down this text, right? That has, that we're gonna look at because we're talking about here today, where are we going? And so when we look at the we, is is where are you taking the audience? Where are you taking those who are tuned in? You have to have the destination. You have to know the location of where you want to land them within your buyer's journey. What does that look like? like for those who you're serving so let's talk about this this scripture for a second here it said with an upright heart he shepherded them and so let's 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 deal with that what we know a shepherd is what's a shepherd we know that a shepherd is someone that watches over a group of people it is someone that cares, tend, or work with, right? A group of people that work with a group. And so you are a shepherd over your business, right? Over your business. And as you are the shepherd, you're the shepherd of your business and you shepherd you, uh, uh, um, whoever your target audience is. And so for the, the group of people that you're called to work with, it is your responsibility, right, to lead them to a destination. Even when they're lost, it's your responsibility to find them. It is your responsibility that they get to hear your voice and they know that you are the one that has the solution that's going to lead them somewhere. You do not come and broadcast, have a radio show or podcast or uh, a TV show just for the sake of having conversation or for the sake of providing random information. No, you're showing up when however often or frequent um, the frequency of your show to provide valuable content so that those that tune in understand that you are a thought leader, uh, that you hold the authority in that lane of whatever your subject matter expert um, tease is within. Whatever that discipline looks like. People need to know and understand that you are it. And so... With that being said, with that being said, people need to have, or let me back up and say it this way, you need to have a roadmap developed for them you gotta lead you have to be leading them what are you leading them to are you you're leading them to something <laughs> something something beyond your show something you're leading them beyond the podcast the radio show or the tv show And you got to figure out what that is, because if you don't lead them, they cannot follow. If if you're not um, 
proclaiming, and we talked about proclamation um, in, in a, a couple of episodes ago, but if you're not proclaiming or you're not voicing, you're not being vocal and, or people don't, people are not hearing you broadcasting your message, then how they're going to first identify you as the leader so that you can even lead them. But also when they get to you, where are you taking them to? You have to have a, a, a landing spot of location for them. What is that journey going to look like? You got to picture that before they ever show up. You got to picture that before they show up. You got to know what that looks like before they show up. So as an author, a coach, a consultant, or an influencer, or an entrepreneur, what is it that you offer that you could be leading them to? And how does it tie into the message that they are listening to as well? See, when the listener or viewer show up, they just understand. All they know is that they are seeking someone with answers. And as they're listening to you, and they're getting valuable tips and strategies and information that is valuable to their situation. And they begin to picture you as a authority figure or a, 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 an authority figure within your prospective industry. Now what? You don't want to just be known or you don't want to be um, like, unfortunately, many authors, coaches, consultants, entrepreneurs and influencers. They have visibility with no profitability. And see, you got to be leading them to the sale. You got to be leading them to the product or services or your book, or whatever it is that you have so that you can serve them in a greater capacity. That's your role as a broadcaster. That's your role. Look, when you're doing any form of marketing, your role is of those pieces of content that's going out it is every piece every activity of it is leading them to a greater way that you can serve them through your products or your services and as the leader you get to choose the roadmap on how they get there How they get there. And I love it because he said he shepherd them. So he ten, he take care of them. If one is lost, he go and find them. He go get them and bring them back in the fold or go get them. Let them know that they've been whatever that it may be. And then it say and guided them with his skillful hands. Now, I absolutely love he said and it guided them. So he shepherded them and then he guided them. So it's not enough to gather the people. I'm right. It's not enough just to gather a group together. No, you got to gather and guide. That's what it is saying. Shepherd them and guide them. You got shepherd, you gather. Shepherd, you identify a group of people. You identify your target audience. You identify your ideal listener or your ideal viewer, right? Who is your target audience? You've already identified them. That group is identified. So now that you have identified your group, it's now your time 
to guide them, guide them down the path. So that they may um, that they may be converted from a listener to a lifetime raven fan that loves everything that you do because you have the solution that they need. Right? So now I want to, so we're talking about this, this guy. So I want you to ask yourself, these are things you ask yourself. As an author, how am I guiding my readers? What is that or what would that next plan of action be for me to serve them? in a greater capacity. If you're a coach, consultant, or entrepreneur, influencer, I want you to think about how are you guiding those who need your products and services? Are you in a one and done type of relationship? And you should not be. This is for you authors as well. You should not be. Your your people who purchase one type of product, whether it's a book, a cup, a key, okay, what a mic, whatever it is, glasses, pair of hands, what fashion, whatever it is. Your services, your programs, right? Your classes, whatever it is. It shouldn't be a one and done situation. You shouldn't have a one and done mindset. No, they bought the book. What's what's next in line for them to purchase? Yeah, they bought the class or they, they took the class What's next in line for them to purchase? Is it the, from the class to the course? Like, what is it? They they purchase the, the, the phone from you or whatever it is, or the glasses. What is the next line or point of sales for them? If we are doing a one and done, you're doing yourself a disservice and you have to keep people keep your your class in that client's journey right in that client's journey so that they can obtain what they need and they can continuously obtain what they need it it, it is less marketing dollars when you can keep when you can retain a client versus getting a new one And the more that you retain, of course, the greater it is for your bottom line. Listen, we at this bottom line. We're talking about this, the bottom line here. How great is it for your bottom line? Because we're talking about the profits. Where are you leading them so that they can make get the transformation they need and that your business can obtain profits from the services 
that you are rendering to them? How can that, how, how, how does that translate? And where, how does it manifest? You have to be in control of that journey. You have to be in control of that journey. So what do you have that you are guiding the people to and through? Is it something free? Something free that that ends up, that leads them to a low ticket item. And that low ticket item lead them to a medium ticket item. The medium ticket item lead them to a higher end product or higher ticket item. And what do you have built next? Do you send them to another high ticket? You send them to, listen, continuing to meet their needs every step of the way, but you got to lead them. You got to lead them to the water. Lead them to the water so they can drink. And so here, they, they, they are, you know, they come, right, to the broadcast, whether it's TV, radio, a podcast, to listen to your brilliance. Now, this this is a moment because listen, you got their ears, their eyes is on you. And this is where you can take the moment and leverage the moment, leverage the time, right? And in leveraging the, the moment of having their ears and peak of their interest, then showing them how you can help them and how they can obtain a greater transformation through whatever your offer is. The other thing I like about this particular text, I mean, it it, it brought so much value for today's conversation because it said that it didn't guide them any <laughs> It didn't guide them, uh, or the shepherd didn't guide them any type of way. The, the text was very um, intentional with um, how it was laid out. And that's one of the things that I love. I, I love when I read the word and I look at the orchestration of how um, the flow of the text come together, right? It said that the shepherd guided them with his skillful hands. I just love that. And, 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 and this is what I want us to take away from this particular part of the text is that he guided them, he said, with his skill for what he was good at. And whatever he was good at in that target, in that industry, whatever. So he understood the industry that he was in of the market, right, um, that he was in. And the segment of, of the market, that segment of the people that he served. And so what I love about it, that, that word skillful hands. That's why you have to, you know, stay in your space, like move and operate in what you were brilliant in doing, because guess what? That's why the people are attracted to you and they're coming to you because of the skill sets that you hold, your level of expertise, your ability to communicate, right? Your authority level within your, that you are authority figure within the industry that you serve. As they watch you, as they hear you, 
and there and it is resonating within their spirit and with their mind and that it is bringing value to their situation and circumstances and helping them and so what you're skilled at you're skilled at and and even that you know we're always be in a place where you're cultivating your skills um i think it's john maxwell he has um i think it's 21 laws of irrefutable leadership i think i may be quoting it like so wrong but i think that is the one but he talked it's where he talks about the law of the lid right and when he talks about the law of the lid he's talking about that in that particular law that you can the people that are, that are being led can only go as high as their leader's brilliance. And so you got to always be sharpening your skills. And, 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 and when you're in a place where you're consistently sharpening your, sharpening your skills to take the people to the next level of greatness, the next level of greatness, and whatever you are brilliant in doing, it allowed them to be lifetime clients. Why? Because you're you're consistently progressing in your skill set and what it is you're called to do. So in turn, you're going to be able to help them stay in a continuous place of progression. What what do I love about even this particular moment of conversation? Because there are some of us out there there's someone out there who is skillful right uh, but you think that your skill you think what you got is not enough no what you have what the, the training you have the experience you have what you hold possess right now is enough to start getting you paid listen to the strategist today listen to the strategy it is enough to get you paid okay and as you continue to use what you got and get cultivated and get more cultivated you continue to grow as you go as well we are all in this growing phase i didn't start where i am and i'm not gonna finish where i am why because i'm in a consistent place of continuing education life should always be about learning cultivating your skills right whatever it is that you're just great and brilliant at why so you can be better so that those that you lead and that they could be better we don't never want to cap out at the law of the at the law of the lid because we're refusing to grow but i want to encourage those who are sitting in places who feel that what you got isn't enough and let me tell you why it's enough. Why what why your skill level of where you are is enough because there's people that that need your skill level or need what it is that you got. That need what you got. And they can't get even they can't get to that skill, the skill level that you're even at or what that skill level offers without getting the access to you, right? Without getting the access to you. What you got, the skill sets, the, the skill level that you have right now, it's enough to bring some form of transformation now in somebody else's life. I wanna encourage you in that. I, I want you to believe in yourself in that. I, I, I want you to understand that. That whatever level you are, it's it's enough to get started. It's enough to help bring transformation in, in in the life of someone else. Why? Because you're even acquiring the skill sets what, what that you have right now, whether it was through education or through experience. It has brought you to where you are now. That hey, you have more knowledge and more wisdom than someone who haven't 
had any of the experience, who have not, who haven't had any of the transformation that you had to go through, who have not had any of the education, if, if, if it's an education component of that you have whatsoever. So you have more than what they have, and it's enough to pour into their cup. So, and while you're pouring in that cup at the level that you are, that you have, hey, you go level up too. While they're leveling up, you're leveling up. You're pouring out and leveling up. You're pouring back out, you're leveling up. So I want to encourage you, don't, don't minimize. Don't minimize your, your, your current skill set or your current le skill level that you're in. Don't minimize that whatsoever. And the reason why I don't want you to minimize that is because your current skill level matters to somebody. It matters. And it can lead somebody. It can help somebody. Along their way in their journey. So I, I I just oh my god and I just thought that was important I don't, I don't I thought that was very that's very important for people and others to know because listen there's people out there that need you that's waiting for you to show up they need you and they are waiting for you to show up. So, I love it. I love this text. It is this Psalm 78 and 72. It said, with an upright heart, he shepherded them and guided them with his skillful hands. And the other thing is when I talk about these skill sets, um, as well, Lord, or just tune in a little bit more about the skill sets, you know, don't be all, you ain't got to be all over the place. Just cultivate right where you are. That's why he said, listen, I love it. When, when the word said, just be faithful over a few things. He said, be faithful over a few things. I'll make you ruler over many, or I'll make you ruler over much. And so if you can find yourself being faithful and just cultivating that what right there or what you have and using it to make a difference, to be the difference, right? <laughs> and as you find yourself being faithful, listen, that faithfulness cultivate, it matures. It causes what you have to grow. That's another thing about, um, you know, being in that space or uh, in that whatever area of expertise that you're in. So as you as you operate in it, you grow and you mature in it as well. You mature in it as you um, have that on the job training and experience. We all are experiencing that. We all are growing as we are using our gifts, our skills, our talents, right? As we are moving and we're working with people and helping them in their transformational experience, it still becomes a learning experience for us as well that help us grow and mature in our craft. I love it. Yes, I love it. And so people, we so we we have to, you know, come into the places and not despise or minimize whatever skill level that you are on because in spite of what wherever that may be 
I can't stress enough that somebody needs you. That somebody needs you. And they need you at whatever level you are at right now. Whatever level that you're at right now. And I'm telling you, it's going to be an absolute blessing for them. It will be an absolute blessing for them. Come on on. Come on in and come on through. Right? Come on in and come on through. And this is the uh, this is the other thing that I... I I definitely have to make sure that I mention in this particular text here as it talks about an upright heart. Like that is everything that those two words in this particular text, as it's talking about leading the people somewhere, guiding the people gathering the people and guiding them with your skills it is everything everything the upright heart really makes the moment it 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 it, it makes the moment right it it makes the transformation it makes the transformation in the life of those who you are called to serve Th there's a difference there's a difference in someone who's just doing it or doing something to do it, you know, just to do it, doing something just to do it because they're able to do it. But it's, it's, it's a different level of servanthood when you get those who are doing it because they are passionate about what they doing because they love what they doing and, and and everybody who know me you know everybody who know me they know i say that those are the people who make all the money the, those who have the heart of a who have a heart of a thing listen you ain't even got to chase the badge. You ain't got to chase the profits. You ain't got to chase the profits. You ain't got to, you, you don't have to do none of those things. Why? Because, because your heart is it. Your, your heart is in the matter. It's at an upright heart. Because you have this heart to serve. Because you have the heart to lead the people, you know, not, not out of greed, not out of like, you ain't doing it just to be doing something. You're doing it because you know that the people need you. And you're doing it because you want to serve the people. You're not doing it um, from a wicked place. You're not leading people from a wicked place for your own profit or for your own gain. No, you're in this thing and you do what you do because you want people to be transformed. And in the midst of you doing what you love to do, you happen to become profitable at it. And when you can serve people with an upright heart, it causes them to do marketing, help do the marketing for you because they become, right, they become the cheerleaders. They go tell it on the mountain.
that, that they be the one that goes and tell it on the mountain for you. And so you're serving, you serve with the heart of, 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 of morals or morality of, of passion because you want to see people change. You want to see lives transform. You want to be the difference in the earth, right, for other people. For other people. And so you do it with pure intention. You do it with the purest intention of that transformation happens in the lives of other people. So we're not in this thing for the money, but it generates money for us so and that becomes the difference and and that becomes the difference in how you operate with people how you serve people how you lead them right and and how you care for them how you tend for them oh my god mm, mm, mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. how you will do whatever is necessary to ensure that the people are getting what it is that they need so that they can be sustained, so that their lives can be transformed, right? Look, and and, and, and that is that space that keeps people coming back. That is the space that where you, um, that where people become life time clients or raving fans for you that's that sweet spot like the upright heart and this that's everything that's everything in leading the people mm. that's that's everything The, the heart, the heart of the matter. But my God, listen, 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 and listen. This has definitely been a powerful episode as we have been talking about um, where are you leading them, right? As we've been having that conversation of, where are you leading them or where are we going? As we've been having this conversation in the Build Your Profitable Brand broadcast series. Help her go tell somebody, oh my God, about this thing. But listen, I want to let you know, if this broadcast has been a blessing to you and it's giving you some enlightenment and it's giving you um, some understanding and you and you understand that yes for such a time as this that you that you need to be in a place where you are broadcasting your message so that you can gain more influence impact and income that you can get your message in the place in places where people are coming to look for solutions in their lives, then guess what? I, I do have um, something that I think will be very, very beneficial for you. So what I want to offer you today, we are doing a course on how to write your first, uh, this, First, it's not a course. Let me back up. We're doing a boot camp. I want to invite you to join us in the Write Your First Profitable Broadcast episode in five days boot camp for authors, coaches, and entrepreneurs in radio, podcasting, and 
television or TV streaming. Listen, we're going to help you in five days build out that profitable, your first profitable broadcast episode, okay? And so listen, let me tell you how to go ahead and sign up or register. It is happening. It is going down on July the 17th. Yeah, on July um, the 17th. And so how you can join us um, in this training, you can go to px.fyi slash ready to broadcast. If you're ready to build that profitable broadcast, then guess what? We are so ready um, to have you, to serve you so that you can begin to gain um, the influence, impact, and income that you deserve because you are brilliant. And people need what it is that you have. So go ahead and join us on July the 17th at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And, and that will kick off our five-day, right, your first profitable broadcast episode in five days for authors, coaches, and entrepreneurs in radio, podcasting, and TV. So I look forward to you joining us again you can visit px.fyi slash ready to broadcast so that we you can go ahead and get have your foundations or get your foundations together so that you can build your your broadcast whether you're doing radio tv or podcasting the right way so that it can be profitable for you and transformational for your listeners and your viewers. Listen, I pray that you have had an amazing time as you hung out here with me on today. Because you, you've been listening to the Build Your Empire with the Kingdom Strategist. My God, and I am your host, Dr. Deranche, your kingdom strategist here to release strategies and revelations to unlock the kingdom of God within you. If this message has empowered you, go ahead and subscribe to our broadcast so that you'll be able to tune in whenever we are, our episode is released or connect with us live. Also want you to connect with us on your social media platforms on Facebook and Instagram at kingdom.strategist or on Twitter at kbstrategist. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, right? As well as our podcasting um a podcasting platform on whatever podcasting platform that you may be on as well listen i've had an amazing time hanging out with you but until next time continue to build your empire in jesus name amen amen and amen to god be the glory thank you jesus hallelujah